Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have another game. One of the three games, the new games I've gotten, and it's Pocket Ants. And this is the professor that is going to be narrating this adventure, and it's called Dr. Zany, I think. Dr. Z yeah, Dr. Zany, I hope I'm saying that right. And he's going to pop up these little annoying things in our face. But we're just going to skip it because I know what to do already. So this is our queen ant. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm going to think of a name or, of her. And yes, um, I put my name as Bl Storm Blaze. I was going to put Storm Blazer, but it, it, for some reason it didn't let me add the R because for, for, like, it was too many words. So we're going to build the food processing chamber, which will cost nothing because we... Okay, fine, I'll read it. Well done. We will now look for food while the chamber is being built. Okay, let's go. And he's going to pop some more stuff up in our face. Forget it. Skip. I know what to do. And there's a leaf over here because I can see it on the map. Uh oh, hold on. Gather. Now we're gathering part of the leaf. We can get 30, 30 not 30, 300 pieces off of this leaf. He's probably going to pop up something else in his face when we finish gathering it, or not. Okay. Now we just need to go back to the nest, drop this off in the food processing chamber. Then we have to, and then it turns into fungus, which we, hold on, I'm talking here. So that now, then we can feed to the queen, because the queen eats fungus for some reason. I don't know what kind of queen that it, this is, but... She eats fungus, okay? And then when she wants to eat fungus, she will produce workers. Or, I was going to say or soldiers, but the stored fungus in the top left, you can see we have one, will go towards the soldiers. And yes, I have increased my mic volume because I looked at the last video and it was a bit quiet. Can, can this thing stop? <laughs> like, I'm trying to say stuff here. Okay, so now we need to take the fungus all the way to the queen's chamber. Now... We need it to click a drop. There we go. Num num num, little queen. I just said little queen when the when the queen ant is bigger than me. And also, since this is an ant video, I'm gonna talk talk about ant stuff. And not, I'm, it's not even if it was the end of a sandbox video, I'm sure I would talk about ant stuff. So I went outside today, came back from the store because we had to get some stuff for a science experiment. And on the way, like, okay, I was getting out of the car. Then I started looking for an, a queen ant for a second because I'm really interested in queen ants and I want to start a queen ant colony, an ant colony. And I did find an ant. And it was a pretty big ant. I'm, I've examined the ant. I still can't know. Like, I still don't know for sure if it's a queen ant, but I really hope it is because that would just be awesome. Okay, go gather some fungus. And oh, God, that was loud. Okay, well done. Now your worker will gather late. Sure, I know. Okay, so if you want to get your own queen ant. Oh, did the screen just turn? Oh, look at this. Green turned dark for a second. But if you want to get your own queen, it keeps turning. Just give me a second. Okay, so if you want to get your own queen app, there's a, a website called the Ant Vault. You can go to shop and wait. Shop. Oh, actually, no, it's not this site. It's not this site. So we need to go. I'm just going to type in hello, Google. Google? I think Google's sleeping on the job. Google. Oh, there we go. Ant sites. I typed into ant sites, but it's just taking a while to actually tell me that I did. No, not ant antics. Ant what in the what? What is this? Oh boy, did I delete too many? Oh, nope, just fine. Ant sites. Okay, stateside ants. America's ant shop. That's what it's called. The site is called. They offer live queen ants, healthiest, highest quality. Okay, so there's a lot of queen ants. Oh my god, there's a American yellow meadow ant queen for $29. I bet that's going to sell out really quick. Okay, but that, yes, you're probably like, oh, that, I bet that queen ant is missing an arm and a leg. Well, queen ants don't have arms. I bet that queen ant is missing a head and antenna. 
and its abdomen. Well, maybe a whole. I know. I don't think so. I hope not. But that looks like a pretty healthy queen ant. And it's twenty nine dollars, so you can't argue with that. Okay, and there's a lot of, and I actually don't know if it delivers. Like it delivers all of the queen ants they deliver in America. Like one queen ant delivers in the left side of America, and there's another one that delivers on the right side of America. If I can, there we go. This one delivers on the left side. Let me let me scroll over. Scroll, scroll, come on. Why is this thing not go to the right? There we go. Ah, the chestnut carpenter ant queen. That's the queen I was thinking about getting. It's forty five dollars. I know there's cheaper queen ants, but that just that one just looks really cool. Look, it's bright red. It's called uh. Hold on. I thought it was like a sunshine a amber, whatever. Like the title of it. So if you click on one of the Queen Ants, it will show you a menu. If you like, hold on. Google, if you would please show the blazers and just load. Load. There we go. Okay. Oh, they have ant farms? I didn't even know they had ant farms. But as you can see down here, they're technically a carpenter ant. This species is not wood nesting and will not damage your home. Okay, so colony size, you can select that. You can get um, just the queen, 1 to 6 workers, or 6 to 23 workers. I mean, 25 workers. I would personally pick the founding queen, because it's just cool to watch a queen like lay eggs. You re rarely get to see a queen lay eggs. And also, tip, keep your ants in darkness. Well, I could, actually, I'm showing you so much of Google and not the actual game we're supposed to be playing right now. Let me just switch over to that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Every time, every single time I switch to like a different tab, it just, the screen just goes black. So there's going to be a bit of that throughout the video. But ooh, I didn't even, while we were like logged out of the game, the ant we assigned to get some fungus got four fungus. Good job, little ant. Good job. But also, you should consider getting it. A queen ant and starting an ant colony. It looks very interesting. I was gonna say it's very interesting, but I have no idea if it's very interesting. It looks very interesting, but I've never had an ant colony. I have, but not with an ant queen. A queen ant. Okay, we're feeding the queen more fungus so it can, so she can give birth to another worker. And then we'll assign that worker to bring the fungus that the other worker is getting. Turn the leaves into a fungus. Okay, so, the worker, one worker is getting the, the leaves and turning them into fungus. And then we're going to assign another worker to pick up that fungus and feed it to the queen when she needs it. So we can get more than more workers, babies. So, go little ant, march! Oh my gosh. Th this noise is so loud. Like, eh. Yeah, that's really loud. At least on my end. Okay, and you know what? In a in a minute, we're gonna. Uh, what you know what? Well, this colony grows quite a bit more. We are going to look at some ant farms. If you wonder, if you want to get a queen ant, let's. We're going to try to work. Oh, sorry about my mic. We're going to try to look for some queen ants. Not queen ants. Ant farms. You can put your queen ant or colony in. So small. So topaz square out world 2.0 former. Formus, Formus Query? Okay. Okay, so, if you want to find, like, most, like, a lot of ant farms, just look on Amazon. Amazon has tons of ant farms. You're probably wondering, how do I know? Because I looked for a long time on Amazon for ant farms, because I wanted ant farms. I, I wanted to be prepared when I get a queen ant. So, Ant nest for queen, you can search up ant nest, ant nest for queen, ant, or ant farm, or queen ants for ant farm. That's what I searched up. So, we're just going to search up ant nest. Okay, come on, Amazon, come on. This is one. And if you can find one, like, with a red film, ants cannot see red. So, things with red film is basically darkness to them. And I found a really cool, like, 
realistic outworld terrarium or whatever a small terrarium but look at this this has a tiny outworld on the top a little nest chamber you can look on the right of the screen it's bigger and like it has a little nest chamber there but also on top it has a hole that they can get out of the nest and enter and there's the outworld t portion of it so you can just drop the food right on the top and even maybe feel, feed them live mealworms. Mealworms are the, what I mostly see people feeding to newer, younger colonies. Like, okay. So if you wanted to, when the, get, the colony gets a bit stronger in power, just like drop a mealworm, a live mealworm maybe, on the top of the outworld. They'll probably smell it or something and just attack it. But maybe th like give that will give the mealworm to possibly g have a chance to just invade the nest and climb straight in it. That would probably result in its sadly death. But it would also be very yummy to the ants. And don't even think about eating a, the mealworm. It's probably disgusting, okay? Okay, n continuing on to pocket ants. Oh, we have seven workers now. That is the max for now. And by the way, if you want to know how to get more ants in pocket ants, and by the way, you don't have to... It's not only on computer. You can get it on iPad. It's easy to, it's easiest to install on iPad than computer. It's a bit of trouble to get this on my computer. But you can go to the App Store, search a Pocket Ant, and just download it. But we're going to send all these ants to get some more fungus. But then when we reach how many fungus is it? We need 10 fungus to build the leaf storage chamber. With the leaves in the leaf storage chamber, we can upgrade the food processing chamber, which will unlock more ants. It will put the max ants to 10. Wait, yeah, max amount of ants total. So if you're wondering, we only have 5 worker ants, and you're probably wondering, why in the world does it say that? It says 7. Well, the player and the queen counts as 1 ant. Well, the player counts as one ant, and the queen counts as one ant. So, it's five workers, one player, and one queen, adding up to seven. We don't have any soldiers right now, because the queen's chamber is not upgraded enough. We need to upgrade it to level two before we can breed, you know, before we can breed soldiers. And also, if you want to hatch more eggs, you can build the nursery chamber. Let me read the description for you. The queen will be able to lay more eggs at, at one time. Workers will bring them here. Wait, hold on. I gotta read that again. The queen will be able to lay more eggs at a time. Workers will bring them here. Feed them and take care of them. Okay, there you go. And I'm gonna read, read the queen's chamber now. This is the chamber where the queen lives. She will eat and lay eggs all day long. Upgrade the chamber to breed stronger soldiers. Okay, I think that's enough reading for now. Okay, so, and also there's quests, which we have completed already by playing the game. Build the food processing chamber, bring one leaf to the food processing chamber, breed two worker ants, that gives us five fungus. Now we can breed, uh, not breed, build the leaf storage chamber. Now we're when the leaf storage chamber is going to be, when it finishes, and the leaf storage chamber's like, on the iPad, or tablet, or phone, whatever, like, device has the app store, and download a Pocket Ant, in that, like, I'm pretty sure, when you're logged out, you, like, not logged into an account on this game, it will take less time to finish, or at least that's my experience on an iPad that's not logged in. Because I have an iPad, and I played Pocket Ants before on it. But now I have it on my computer, so I play it on my computer. Okay, after all that talking, we can now build the Leaf Storage Chamber. I mean, we already did that. It, I was saying, the Leaf Storage Chamber has finished, and now we can assign two ants maximum. We can assign five ants if we take one off, bring fungus to the queen, and two, bring leaves into the food processing chamber to create fungus. But I'm going to, you should always leave the one worker on the queen 
for, to like bring fungus to the queen. And you can only put one worker maximum. I used to think, oh, I just need to get my colony bigger so I, it will let me assign more ants to this. But no, it only lets you assign one ant. Which, um, like when you lose workers or... Yeah, when you lose workers, they'll re get, they'll re be reborn uh, kind of slowly because it's only one ant doing it. But you can also help the queen out or help the worker ant out and also bring some fungus to the queen. But now it's a ah, worker behavior updated. Okay, quests. Let's see what quests we've completed. Claim. Okay, we built the leaf storage chamber. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And by, th and by the way, in the gym shop, you can purchase a strawberry that will be... Okay, let me read the description. I mean, the whole thing on here. Purchase conformation. 24 hours strawberry. A strawberry will be active north of your colony for 24 hours. Unlimited food and leaves supply. But you need 250 gems for that, which we don't have. So, sadly, we can't do that. Now, so you can get a scorpion. You can find in a scorpion, but it's only available on the weekends. And I was playing the game on a weekend, apparently, because I was like, it was like, oh, you need to upgrade this whatever chamber it was to level four. I think it was the body parts chamber or the creature chamber. It was borrowed the body parts chamber. I don't know. Build the honeydew chamber to unlock. Oh yeah, aphids. If you collect aphids, you have to use, you have to protect the aphid convoy. The convoy that's collected aphids until they get back to the back to your nest and remember they take an a painful amount of time not painful it's not painful but they take a long time to get back to the nest and you need soldier ants to defend them because if you just try to use your player ant which a player ant can kill a normal red ant not a soldier though the soldier will absolutely brutally murder you just like the fire ants that will try to attack you when the aphid convoy mission thing is happening. And now, after all that talking, it's night. Wow. It's night in real life for me right now, but it's night in the game. That's what I meant. Okay, there's the syringe hole on the map. You can see the little spider thing. It looks little on the map, but trust me, it's way bigger than we are. Okay, so we are just going to wait for the colony to grow. Well, no. We need to... You should probably... Put your prime, like at this beginning growing stage where you don't have any, like most, like any workers where you have, like, not that many workers. You should put all the, like, your fungus workers on the leaf storage thing so you can upgrade the food processing chamber to allow you to get more ants. Which I can upgrade it right now. That's gonna be great. And it's gonna take one minute to upgrade this. I don't like that. I'm gonna finish it with two. No, we can wait. No, fine. I'll wait. Okay, so we're just going to stand here sitting watching God as I talk about some more stuff about this game. In the options menu, you have, you have a reset progress button. A discord button, which I'm pretty sure gives you a link to their discord the devs or the devs discord or something you can turn off sound effects music and zoom i turned off music because it was just really annoying to me and you can show completed quest which it already does look it says completed for some reason and i have it off which doesn't make any sense fix your game pocket ants okay so and there's a save and exit button which will make you exit the game and also save it and there's a log out button where you can log out of the account. And of course, I'm never pressing that because why would I want to log out of my account? And also, in the army tab, no, not in the army tab. Well, there's more stuff in the army tab I can also talk about. Can these things stop popping up on my screen? Upgrade complete. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so if you want to buy the max amount of soldier ants you can... It, the gym cost is max 150, but if you have like 30 soldier ants, it will only need to buy 20, so it'll be less. And also there's a tarantula box button, which I don't know what it does currently. Creature storage. I used to have a tarantula in this game, but I reset my progress to make this video. It's kind of sad, but it's okay. 
because I wanted you to see what the game, how the game is starting out. So let's get you into this car. Forget it. Okay, so in the quest menu, we have another quest we can complete, and we got some more leaves. I'm guessing we need 25 leaves to upgrade the food processing chamber again. Wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was like, I upgraded this. Why does it still say 10 in level 1? Okay. Yep, it's 25 to upgrade. Okay. But in the gym, no, in the battle, if you press the battle button, you can go to defense, and you can battle yourself. So, like, if you do, like, soldier, or whatever, I don't have any soldiers, but soldier, soldier, whatever, that, like, if you put seven soldiers to the entrance of the nest, like, on top of the surface, like, six in the chambers, or in, like, 20, or whatever, in the queen's chamber that will be when you fight the thing so if you go to attack or something huh where is it defense assigned defenders assigned oh yeah if you press this button with the explosion and the soldier good job pocket dance that explosion looks awesome just like every explosion and if you press that, you would start, like, the battle between basically your own defense you set up. So, yeah, you might think about, you might want to think about that defense carefully because you might want to, you want to try to make it easier for yourself to defeat the other enemy. And I've been talking for 20 minutes, over 20 minutes, I've just realized, and I'm actually shocked. But I have been talking for a long time. I just didn't know it was that long. Well, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed, and in the next video, we will be playing Empires of the Undergrowth. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.